Good afternoon, boys and girls. Today we are going to be talking about how we can be adding or subtracting decimals with models. Now, first of all, we need to talk about these models uh, first of all. Now, we're going to be using with our models, we're going to be using the base 10 blocks. So we're going to be using tens rods, we're going to be using ones, we're going to be using uh, hundreds, but when we're talking about decimals, we need to kind of sort of change the way we think about these decimals. So now instead of thinking of this as, oh, this is just a 1, and this is 10, and this is a 100, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and blow your mind a little bit here. Now I'm going to change your frame of reference. Now instead of having my decimal point be back here, my decimal point, I'm just going to move it to be right there. Now our frame of reference has changed. Now how we think about these numbers has changed. Well, let's take a look exactly how they've changed. This right here, this is now our whole number. This is now going to be worth 1. Now this is going to be our tenth because it takes 10 tenths to create a whole. Do you see this? We have If we put 10 of these all together, it would equal the one whole. And here's our a hundredth piece because it takes a hundred of these to create the one hole that we have there. Now, it might be kind of tricky for you to be thinking, oh, but like, oh no, that's supposed to be a hundred. But with our frame of reference, with our decimal point being here, now we see that this is worth one, this is worth a tenth, and this is worth a hundredth. So, now, when we're adding or subtracting decimals with our models, we're going to be continuing to think that this is one, this is a tenth, this is a hundredth. So first of all, let's take the number, oh, let me pull these off over here. Let's take the number 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 25 hundredths. So that means I would have one tenth two tenths, see that? I have my two tenths here, which is representative of the two tenths there. And one hundredth, two hundredths, three hundredths, four and five hundredths. So I now have two tenths and five hundredths represented here. It's the same as this number. Now when I'm adding, I'm just adding more tenths and hundredths and whole numbers to what I, the model that I have here. So let's say I want to add Oh, 0 0.4, 4 tenths. So how many tenths will I be adding to over here? I'm going to be adding 4 tenths. So I'm going to be taking an additional 1, 2, 3, 4. An additional 4 tenths. See, there's my 4 tenths that I just added. There's my original. And so now I'm combining them together. And now what's my total of my tenths? I have one, two, three, four, five. I now have six tenths, and I still have five hundredths. So I can say over here, okay, when I add these together, I get six tenths and five hundredths. So 0 0.225, 25 hundredths, plus four tenths is 65 hundredths. All right, so let's take another one. Um, let's take, oh, let's go with... Um, 0 0.9, so I'm going to have 9 tenths, so now I have 9 tenths, and let's go ahead and add to that, oh, 0.65, the same number from up there. So I have 9 tenths, and I'm going to add um, 65 a hundredths to that, so I'm going to go ahead and add another, let's do it down here, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have now have an additional six hundredths, and I need to add the five, um, I mean six tenths, five hundredths, one, two, three, four, five. So now I have all of these. So, my goodness, this certainly does seem like a lot. Let's count them all up. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I now have 15 tenths. Mm, that seems like an awful lot. How can I possibly put the number 15 in just one single spot? Well, I can't. What I have to do is 15, hundred, uh, 15 tenths. I'm going to have to trade in 10 of these because doesn't 10 tenths equal one whole? So I'm going to take out 10, 1, 2, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there we go. I'm trading them in for a whole number, and I have my five hundredths here. So my new total now is one whole, because I traded in 10 tenths for one whole, and 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5 tenths, and 5 hundredths. So how would I write that? I'd write one whole, one whole, and then 5 tenths, and then 5 hundredths. Very, very good. So. Now, how would this look when I'm not able to have my actual base 10 blocks here to play around with? Well, let's take a look at this. So I know that 0 0.25, 25 hundredths, and 0 0.4, 4 tenths is equal to uh, 65 hundredths. But what if I don't have the base tenths? What if I just have a picture of base tenths? Well, there's a very special way I like to do that, and I like to use fun Color. Some of you love to use fun colors too, so please do fun colors along with me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to color code these. These first, this first number right here, I'm going to put it in a green color. So I'm going to fill in this number 25 hundredths in green. So I'm going to do two rows of tenths because there's two tenths. One, two, and then five hundredths. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. So now I have showing. 25 hundredths. Now I'm going to add four tenths to this as well. Now there's going to be a very special way I can add these four tenths. I'm going to color code this one. I'm going to color code him pink. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to just start it here and go down because I won't get an accurate reading, uh, show it accurately then. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Look, isn't this equivalent to 1 tenth? It sure is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going by groups of 10, but starting down here and then moving across here. Now, sometimes I like doing this, just drawing across the little line there to help me see where to begin and where to stop. So I've got one group of 10. Here is a second group of 10. Here is a third group of 10. And then here is a fourth group group of 10. So I've got 1 tenth, 2 tenths, 3 tenths, and 4 tenths. So I've now added 4 tenths to this. Now when I count it all up together, I should have 65 hundredths. Let's take a look and see. I have 1 tenth, 2 tenths, 3 tenths, 4 tenths, 5 tenths, 6 tenths, and one, two, three, four, five, six hundredths. So we see that we have 0 0.65 or six tenths and five hundredths when I add them together. Now let's go back to that other one we did and let's talk about 0 0.9 and 0 0.65, nine tenths and 65 hundredths. Now let's see how this, this happens because I know I'm gonna get, end up with a hole somehow. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna color code 9 tenths in my green, so I'm going to go 1 tenth, 2 tenths, 3 tenths, 4 tenths, 5 tenths, 6, 7, 8, 9 tenths. Good job, everybody. Were you counting along with me? If you weren't, I want you to help count along with me as I color code my 65 hundredths, okay? So I have my 9 tenths here, and now I'm going to do... Oh, look, I don't have to do that uh, thing where I go back and forth. I can just do a nice even line down of group of 10. So here's my first group of 10, so that's one, everyone count with me, two, three, four, five, six, so I now have six tenths filled in, and now I'm going to put my five hundredths, one, two, three, four, five, just like so. So now, if I add all this together, see I've got my whole box here filled in. When I have my whole box there filled in, it means I have one whole. A whole box being filled in is one whole. And then I should have five tenths. Let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I have five tenths. And I should have five hundredths. One, two, three, four, five. I absolutely do have five hundredths. Now, 
So this is how we can add decimals with our models by both using our base 10 blocks and also by coloring in base 10 blocks. I like to make sure I color code them. But you must be saying to yourself, Mrs. Matson, what about when we're subtracting? What about when we're subtracting our decimals? Well, we can do kind of sort of the same thing. So let's say I start off with, oh, let's go 73 hundredths, 73 hundredths. So I'm going to write that up here, okay? I'm going to write 0 0.73 hundredths. And let's say I want to subtract out oh, 0 0.45, 45 hundredths. All right, so let's go ahead. Um, that just means I'm going to take away 4 tenths and 5 hundredths. So I'm going to go ahead and take away 1, 2, 3, 4. That was easy. And then 5, 1, 2, 3. I only have 3. What can I possibly do in order to get all 5 to be taken away? Well, I can break one up. I can take this guy right here and I can substitute him for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Non ten. There we go. We got all ten there. So because ten hundredths make up one tenth. Um, so now I can take all five away. So one, two, three, four, five. I got those five. I'm going to take them out of the picture here. Oh, this is on the wrong side of the decimal. Excuse that. So now I'm left with two tenths. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put two tenths and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I took my large amount and I took away that amount and I'm left with this. Now let's see what if I have it on here. Now it's going to be difficult for me to actually take things away on here, but there's a special way I can do this too. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color code my 0 0.73. So 0 0.73, not that side. 0 0.73 right here. I'm going to go ahead. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 3, 1, 2, 3, okay? So now I've taken my amount here, my total amount. Now, how am I going to actually take out 4,500 reps? Well, I'm not actually going to take them out. What I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to cross them off. So let's go ahead. I'm going to color code this one in purple. And so I need to take out four tenths, right? So I'm going to take out, well, there's one, two, three, four. So I'm going to start from this corner and go down to that corner. Because I and then from this corner down to this corner. Do you see how it's one, two, three, four whole tenths I've now crossed off? Yes. So, and then I can take out my five hundredths. So I'm going to take out one, two, three, Four, five. So now I've taken out five hundredths. I should be left with two tenths and eight hundredths. Let's see if I am. Let's see. One tenth, the second tenth, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundredths. I am indeed left with two tenths and eight hundredths. So now to review, when we're adding uh, decimals together, we can combine them together on the same uh, base 10 system. When we subtract them, we can put our full entire amount and then take away as many as we need to. And that might be a little hard to see there, but we can see I've got my five uh, hundredths taken away, my four tenths taken away, um, and then we're left with my two tenths and eight. Hundreds. So that is how we go ahead and add or subtract decimals with our base 10 models.